This is my field charging case inspired by the Turtle Laboratories case I saw Bot Grinder make. So it's a uh, Seahorse 300 case. And here's the uh, inside here. Uh, so I went with the Toolkit RC M8. Um, that's the uh, charger I went with here. Um, the uh, power supply underneath is uh, a Lantian 24 watt. Um, I think it's uh, listed as for the ISDT charger, but uh, any power supply will work. Uh, it fits perfectly across there. It is a little bit taller and uh, the way the Toolkit RC charger is and it kind of has that angle on it. Um, it was a pretty close fit there, but uh, it worked out with these 3D printed inserts. Um, so all these 3D printed uh, files and things are on Thingiverse. Um, the little case that I made for this and the bevel and the little case and bevel for the balance lead and the little fan guard. Um, those are all on Thingiverse. Uh, these I'll probably post later, but they're just pretty simple just to make. I just made that because my holes weren't perfect, so I just kind of made a little, little extra bevel around there. Uh, so um, you can give it uh, AC power um, just with your standard, you know, plug here. So I can go in here, get yourself standard AC power. Um, or you can also plug this in DC, uh, you know, hook this right up to a car battery if you're out in the field or, you know, somewhere else where you have a, a battery power for, for voltage. Um, so I've tested both those and they worked uh, pretty well. Out in the field it did get fairly hot, but it was also a really hot day. Um, so I've got a 12 volt fan here that's uh, blowing air out. Um, the power source itself also has a fan. The Toolkit RC charger also has a fan. Uh, so when I was running this in my house the other day, it stayed pretty cool um, with all the fans going. Uh, so you've got a balance lead there. You've got the ports there for the, the M8 right here uh, with the banana jacks. So I also have an auxiliary jack right here, 12 volts out for like a you know 1S charging board for like loop batteries. USB right there for charging your cell phone. So you can turn that on and off just so that doesn't run all the time. The fan does run all the time. There's a voltage regulator underneath here that steps down the voltage from 24 volts, which the power supply gives, down to 12 volts for these guys here. Um, you know, you can hook up your various different uh, batteries here with, you know, whatever leads you want. Um, I typically fly smaller micros, so I use a lot of XT30, so I can hook a balance board here with the XT30. So it's all pretty much all there. It can all, for the most part, fit in here, um, and I can take it with me um, or just use it at home, and everything's all in one spot, which is kind of the, the goal, was everything was all together and was always going to stay together and not get scattered sometimes like it does on the desk. But uh, yeah, this charger has been pretty good. Um, it does have its quirks every once in a while. It will just not want to charge a battery and say there's a voltage issue with the battery, but my other charger will charge the battery just fine. So I don't know if it's firmware thing or not. I need to find a PC to upgrade the firmware. Um, I only have a Mac and it doesn't want to read my virtual PC doesn't want to read. I did leave this so I can use some of the other cool features such as the uh, PPM or SBUS, you know, signals or, or um, servo functions. So I kind of left an extension there. Just kind of tuck that in there. That seems to work. But uh, I'll put up all the files. They're all up in Thingiverse. Um, I'll put links to that in the description and uh, links to all the other little gadgets and gizmos. Some of them I got on Amazon, some of them from Banggood and other various sources. So I'll put up links to all those. Thank you. Bye.